Hello friends, uh, here we have a trigonometric expression here. Uh, two expressions are here. Say k plus tan a is multiplying 1 minus sin a and we need to solve out and we need to get the uh, the final value. Just we need to solve it. Okay. So how to solve it? Let's go. At uh, the first trick, uh, I, have, I have been told you many many times that whenever you get uh, like uh, other things, uh, rest of this sine and cos, then convert those all. All in the sense other means uh, cosic, sec, cot, tan, those all things you need to convert it to the sine and cos form. Whatever you are getting, if you are getting tan or cot or sec or cosec, whatever you are going to get, convert those everything into the sine and cos. You will always get uh, easiness to solve the problem. All right. So here I am getting here, I am getting here sec. So I know that sec is actually, sec a is actually 1 over cos a, 1 over cos a. And I know this tan also actually, this tan a is actually sin a over cos a. Right, I know these things. So that is why what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put the value of this sec a in the place of sec a. I'm going to put this one open cos a. Right, so in the place of this, I can write one open cos a. And then again, here is tan a. So in the place of tan a, I'm gonna put this sin a over cos a. All right. So this is now sin a over cos a. So as I said, we need to generally, you know, whenever you are getting anything, and if you don't think, I mean, I mean, uh, none of the concept is coming in your brain, then try to convert everything to the sine and cos. Automatically, every concept will come, come one by one. All right. So see here, one minus sine eight is. So here, I'm not going to do anything. One minus sine a. Why I'm not going to change? Because it is already in the sine form. And next step, what we can do? See here, this is cos a and it is also cos a and I'm gonna take this now LCM so I'll get cos a and due to which actually I'm going to get a very good thing here you know this is 1 and this is plus sine a and here is 1 minus sine a so actually I got something right see here 1 plus sine a this is right or uh, this this 1 minus sine a now I can write here you might get confused let me write differently first all right this is one here and this sine a is here all right and this whole thing is multiplied by this quantity so i'm going to write this one minus sine a now see here this is one plus sine a one minus sine a so this is yes a times a plus b times a minus b yes that is a square minus b square. So here 1 plus sine a times 1 minus sine a. I can write now actually 1 square minus sine square a divided by cos a. Right and 1 square that's actually that's the same thing that's 1 right. So 1 minus sine square a. Again we have one another formula we had learned that sine square a plus cos square a is equals to 1 this identity we had learned so if I'm gonna put this uh, this this the sine square just here here is sine is in plus form here it will be in minus form so I'll get cos square equals to 1 minus sine square a all right so now this thing 1 minus sine square in the place of 1 minus sine square a I can easily write cos square a, right? This is a actually here. So 1 minus sin square a in this place. Now I'm gonna put the value of cos square a. So I got cos square a over the cos a. Right. And finally what I'm getting this cos a and this one will cancel out and I will be getting cos a. Because there was cos square a that is actually this is actually cos a times cos a. cos a divided by cos a it is right and this and this will cancel out and you'll get cos answer this is your final answer i hope you understand if there is any problem you can comment just below this video i will try to uh, clear your doubts all right we'll meet in the next video bye bye